algae are essential for the biological balance of a pond, and yet they are a disturbing element you want to get rid of as soon as possible. There are more than 100,000 types of algae. The most common types are floating algae, filamentous algae, and blue algae. Floating algae color the water green, whereas the pond water remains clear with filamentous algae. Algae will grow in almost any condition and at any pH value. Even when the water quality is too poor for plants to grow, certain types of algae still persist. They start to develop mainly in springtime, both in newly constructed ponds and in existing ponds. Filamentous algae can proliferate out of control. Green water points to a lack of light in the pond, which results in an impaired growth of underwater plants. Strong variations in pH values caused by algae will result in an increased sensitivity of fish to stress and disease. There is also an increased risk of ammonia poisoning. The first Aquasonic was developed in 1999 to help tomato growers. The irrigation drippers clogged up as a result of the buildup of algae on the tube walls. As it kept the reservoirs free from algae, the Aquasonic proved to be the ideal tool to prevent clogging. Soon it became clear that problems with algae not only manifested themselves in market gardening. These single-celled organisms have a harmful effect in any aqueous environment. The Aquasonic NT4 is the result of a process of continuous improvement and adjustment. Aquasonic produces a very special ultrasonic sound. Resonance vibrations shake up the algae cells so vehemently that the vacuoles rips. The cell implodes and the alga dies. When we inquired with our customers, they not only confirmed the fantastic results on algae, but they also found that many types of fungi had disappeared. In collaboration with the Provincial Service for the Prevention of Plant Diseases, the Aquasonic NT4 was enhanced with additional frequencies to improve the effect on plant diseases. Numerous other applications presented themselves. Mr. Pell from Elsele was one of the first to install an Aquasonic. After three weeks, the algae had disappeared completely. Tomatoes are no longer sprinkled, but supplied with water and nutrients by means of a capillary tube. The tomato grower does not notice the clogging of the tube until the plant dies. As there are no longer any outbursts of algae growth, the pH value is more stable. At present, the second basin is also equipped with the NT4. Willy de Vrindt grows azaleas in La Christi. He was one of the first to reuse his sprinkling water. The reused water contains many nutrients and is therefore an excellent medium for algae and fungi. An ultraviolet disinfection installation could destroy the fungi. But due to the large amount of algae, the water had become turbid and the installation's performance was not sufficient. During the summer months, the plants in the greenhouses and outside are watered by means of a sprinkler installation. The water is drained away via a channel to a collecting basin and then pumped into a reservoir. The Aquasonic kills the algae. They come to the surface through the effect of decomposition gases and the water underneath the algae is pure. After the first rain showers, the gases disappear quickly and the algae sink to the bottom. The water, which is very clear now, is pumped to the UV installation. Because of the optimal transparency of the water, the installation has a high efficiency. 
As a result of the increased transmission of light, the kilowatt hour consumption is substantially reduced by the computer. Algae are actually bacteria that look like algae. Most blue algae, when intact, have a blue-green color. They are predominantly found in stagnant fresh waters, for instance in ponds and swimming basins. Floating on the surface, they form a layer resembling an oil slick. When this layer thickens so that the algae have less space, they die and form a stinking green mush. When they die, blue algae produce toxic substances which can be harmful to man and animal. Pets could be poisoned by drinking the surface water. Plankton eating fish accumulate the toxins by ingesting zooplankton which could cause liver damage and eventually death. A fish pond in Lidigem was virtually dead. Aquasonic was its salvation. was constructed in Zillebeek to provide a wonderful biotope for hundreds of koi fish. Unfortunately, it did not take long before the pond was choked with filament. This algae. All remedies were tried to no avail. Eventually, the aquasonic was installed. After two weeks, the dead algae could be scooped from the water surface and the pond remained clean. Here you can see the pond before and after treatment with the aquasonic. The water from cooling towers is an ideal environment for the explosive growth of algae. Bekart NV did not even succeed in keeping the water free from algae by using chemicals. After installing the aquasonic, the company stopped adding chemicals to the water for a year. The algae disappeared after three weeks and Legionella was eliminated. The algae in the water reservoir of Mr. van der Straten, a zelia grower in Lochisti, had disappeared after two weeks thanks to the aquasonic. A few months later, when the reservoir's water level was low, it became clear that the filthy, greasy bio-layer on the walls, which had been a source of bacterial pollution, had disappeared completely. Before the aquasonic was installed, the leaves of the azalea plants were stained with algae and the plants had to be treated with citric acid before they could be sold. The plants remained spotless after the installation of the aquasonic. The sand filter of tomato grower Franco in Yabek was constantly clogged. It had to be cleaned several times a day. The algae attached to the small clay particles in the water. Small pellets stuck together on top of the layer of sand. One month after the installation of the NT4, the problem had disappeared completely. <laughs> 